안녕하세요. 서산 두리 치과 박정현입니다. Hello, I am Dr. Park Jong Hyun, Seosan Duri Dental Office. The key point here is that rather than fabricating the whole prosthesis at once, based on segmented temporary teeth, you can move to the final prosthesis one segment at a time. That is my preferred method. 1st let's look at a maxillary case. In this situation, all upper teeth are needed to be extracted. Nine implants were placed and the three-piece segments were planned. After implant placement, until osseointegration is achieved, temporary teeth were used. After the second surgery, I usually use the transfer impression coping to take impression. Here comes the important part. Transfer impression coping directions can be different. If so, if you take impression for many implants all at the same time, a problem can arise. Tray cannot be removed from the mouth. So in this case, I minimize the use of a heavy body even though the impression would be less accurate. I take the vertical dimension based on the physiologic rest position. I explained this in previous lecture. I'll show you how I do that. I leave three or four or even two transfer impression copings that are close to the physiologic rest and in occlusion, and healing abutments are connected to all the rest of them. Then rough bite registration is made using putty. Up to now, accuracy is not very good, and on the roughly acquired implant level model, custom abutments are fabricated. Custom abutments and occlusal rim are fabricated. The abutments are connected in the mouth and bite registration is made again. After bite registration, when abutments are connected, alginate is used for impression taking again. The problem here is that the patient should go for a couple of days with abutments without a temporary teeth. This can be used, but these days, implant level impression is not very accurate, but a temporary can be fabricated with the first bite registration. But temporary adjustment would be much less if abutments are connected like this and impression and the bite registration are acquired again. A temporary is fabricated with the three segments. The temporary is attached to the mouth and continuously occlusal adjustment and evaluation was done based on the temporary information. But what level impression was taken to move to the final prosthesis one by one? Full mouth rehabilitation is usually carried out when alveolar bone is resorbed. So most margins are hidden by the upper lip when smiling. Often it is easy to fabricate the suppressions of a margin prosthesis. In that case, transitioning to the final prosthesis with the abutment level is not that challenging. One year, three month recall panorama. Now, mandibular edentulous fixed prosthesis restoration. To make one guide, blue resin markers are attached in the mouth, and intraoral scanner and CT were used. Using the fabricated guide, implants were placed. As you saw the previous case, transfer impression coping was used to take impression and bite registration. After completing a temporary, they are segmented into three pieces. Abundant level impression was taken to move to the final prosthesis. As the temporary had three segments, this process was not difficult to do. Final prosthesis was completed. 
final panorama. So we talked about how to use the custom abutment to make it simple. Stock abutments can be used. In another dental clinic, implants were placed five years ago and the locator over denture was used. Now the implant needed to be removed. The left implant was small and the buccal bone remains, so I decided to use the implant. Stock abutments were connected, modified if necessary. An abutment level impression was taken. The most challenging part here is that when we have subgingiva margin, if stuck abutments are not modified as previously talked about, the same size stuck abutments can be aligned or the same size stuck abutments can be used and only margins can be relined, then subgingival margin can be easily registered. The physiologic rest position was measured, and in the clinic, the wax was softened and the rough occlusal rim was fabricated. Allow X relining was done to achieve the wanted vertical dimension, and bite was registered. This is my routine bite registration way. Do you understand that? I use the physiologic rest position first and foremost. They are in three segments to make abutment level impression taking easy. As long as my line is not affected, I use the super of a margin. Final prosthesis was completed. The existing teeth on the maxilla had a ceramic fracture, but the patient could recover chewing function. Final panorama x-ray. Summary. Transfer impression copings are used for rough impression taking and the bite registration to make a temporary. Usually a temporary is made with the three segments, but it can be four. One by one, they are changed. When the margin is covered by the upper lip, when smiling, it's easier. But when metal margin is showing like this, for the posterior region, we can use the supra gingival margin, but for upper anterior region, implant level impression can be utilized. A temporary is used for about a month for evaluation and adjustment and a patient gets adjusted to it during the period. Based on the temporary information, abutment level impression can be taken and the three-segment final prosthesis can be fabricated. Can you understand the process to the final prosthesis? These are the photos I showed you at the beginning. This is how I do the full mouth implant to fix the restoration. If upper lip hides the margin at full smile, I use the supra gingival margin prosthesis as much as possible. But the problem is, with the sub gingival margin, abutment level impression cannot be used. So I try to use the supra gingival margin for posterior and use implant level impression for the anterior these days. If metal in the anterior is showing, that's a problem. Seven year recall photo. Now it's time to finish. I believe you understand how you do the restoration for edentulous patients rather than trying to find new ways all the time. It is better to repeat the comfortable procedure that you can use that would be beneficial for both patients and dentists. Thank you for your attention.